Okay, so in this uh, Nashhorn video, we're going to form the gun shield. And it's a little bit of a delicate operation. So something you might want to do to like harden the pieces a little bit first is to take some two to one glue and just sort of soak this area in it and then just recut these lines, perhaps with a sharp blade because with the dull blade, they tend to mash a little bit rather than fold nicely. And you really want these to fold down nice. So if they split or start delaminating on you, you're definitely gonna want to infuse them with glue. You can try without doing it, but it's a little bit risky. So get these bent and get these bent, but just let them sort of fall back into place. And then take a skewer and you want to round these gun shields in on the template side rather than the uh, brown side. The brown side is actually the uh, front of the gun shield. So just get those started. It's way too hard to do that once it's uh, installed or started to be installed. So get these, you don't have to get them all the way, just need a beginning basically to them. And you fold this all back so that only the bottom part is showing. And we're going to take some straight glue and glue it to this gun base. And it's a little bit tricky to get it lined up because like once you stick the piece down, you can't see where the uh, symbol is anymore. There is a trick to it though. some straight glue onto here. And just do it from the bottom. And check to make sure. Like I did make the symbol on the sort of crescent piece or half circle a little bit bigger. So if you do it right, you can see a little blue line there and a bit of a blue line on this side, but you also want to make sure, like, it looks like it's straight. Oops. And the front should be exactly the same place as this. So these meet up flush. I just want to make sure I can see my blue lines. A bit more on that side. So you only have like a sort of a limited time to adjust this because you did like if you use straight glue or four to one glue is also acceptable. But you, you don't want to use anything thinner than that because it just generally will just keep falling off on you. Need something with a bit of stick. Okay, so once you've got that, let it dry. All right, you don't want to mess with that while it's delicate. So give it a few minutes. I got one here that's to that stage. Now, obviously, if you've re-hardened these, you're probably going to have to drill out these holes again. That's fine. You've got them started. It's a lot easier now. So now what we want to do is we want to take just some small patches. I've got four small patches here. And my two-to-one glue. Yes, it appears to be two-to-one. So two glue, one water, like the real thin stuff. And then put one patch toward the end. And this will just make sure it follows the line of the half circle below it. And again, these are tracing paper patches, so very, very thin. It shouldn't be visible when, on the final model. Okay. So just carefully sort of 
find where that's going to go. This is why we waited for it to dry, because you do have to put a little bit of pressure on it to get it into the right position. Unless you've really, really rounded those things. Okay. And then just use the patch to pull in to position your gun shield. Now the shield will overlap a tiny bit on the ends of the base. Don't worry about that. The base really isn't that visible. It's just a way to make all this hold down. I mean, you can see it, but it kind of disappears into the depths of the model. Okay. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention, when you're gluing it down, sometimes it helps to press it into place like this with a, a skewer or something like that to make sure you get a really strong bond. I mean, it's too late for me to do that now, and it glued fine, but that's a good way to get it to stick right down. Anyways, that gets you your basic gun shield, which hopefully will fit into here, like that, eventually. Don't glue it in there or anything. In fact, uh, the model is made for this to be able to turn a little bit. So if you're using it in war games, sometimes it's key to be able to show your gun is on an angle. That is included, so don't glue that in. Just leave it for now. Plus there's a lot of work, delicate work, where you're gonna need access to all these little pieces and stuff like that, So, uh, so yeah. Just leave that for now, and um, you're ready for the next step. If you like this video, uh, subscribe to the website, and uh, support us if you can. Spread the word, if not. And uh, thanks for watching. See you soon.